Well, hello again, fellow beer lovers. It's the beer boss and my favorite beer drinking buddy Darwin over here reporting to you today from, where are we? Cozumel. We're in Cozumel, Mexico at, at, at an exclusive beach resort here in the Caribbean, right? We're in the Caribbean, right? Yep. Yes. Beautiful island, as you can see. Take a look. We've got palm trees. And we're drinking Soul. 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 You can see I forgot to bring my um, my tripod with me, so this is gonna be a little bit, you know, shaky. But we're drinking from some some really good beer glasses here, some half pints. Okay. So Soul. Soul is the name of the beer. Uh, it looks to me like it's a uh, lager. It says Soul Cerveza Original de Mexico. Let's see what that tastes like. Well, well, hey, wait. Let's see what it looks like. Looks kind of like a Budweiser. Yeah, like yeah. a Bud. Yeah. It's like a looking, Bud. Looking like a Bud. This Bud's for you, amigo. Right. I don't know if I really smell anything. It smells a little sweet. Kind of in that Coors Budweiser vein. It's an industrial. An industrial. It's sweet, light. It's a pilsner. Now you know I've talked a little bit about the industrial beers before. You know when uh, I, I had a heightened sense of um, respect for Budweiser back when I actually visited the Anheuser Busch Brewery long before they were bought out by uh, InBev. Uh, over in St. Louis, Missouri, back in the mid 90s. And I went there and they, they told us about the fact that they, they brewed in accordance with the uh, German, the Bavarian Reinheitsgebot, the German purity law, 1516, which means, you know, there's, there's no awful additives or anything nasty. It's all, it's, all, it's got the same good stuff, to, you know, it's got the, got the, uh, the barley, water, hops, and all the main ingredients that the Germans said you had to restrict it to. So it's, and it has really good quality stuff. It's just that it's, you know, it's lighter. It's a lighter beer with uh, lower uh, alcohol content. And, you know, this is a similar beer. How would you compare it to Bud? Do you think it's better? I think it might be better than Bud. Yeah. It's been a while since I had a butt, so it's kind of, truth be told, it's kind of hard for me to make a direct comparison. Yeah, it's, I'm expecting a lime. Yeah, they normally throw in a lime for extra flavor, you know what I'm saying? People like, you know, that drink, drink this stuff, drink, you know, Coors or Corona, they celebrate the lime, but really, you know, honestly, you shouldn't really require anything to add flavor to your beer. Well, well, the but, caps, they would, the caps used to rust, so they used to use the lime to wipe the rust off the, the bottle. Wow. And then drop it in. Look this. And so that's where the lime would kind of come from, but the lime kind of added some extra flavor to it, so. You know, Darwin, the, uh, the, the repeat customers of the Beer Boss channel, they, they come not only for the levity and the hilarity, but for the education. That's so right. I appreciate, well, I appreciate that nugget. I did not know that. Did you know? I did not know that. You did not know that. <laughs> oh, a little McMahon. I did not know that, Johnny. <laughs> but now the caps don't rust, but now the, they just add lime for the flavor. Right, right. Well, you know, uh, you know, people drink their Pilsners so they get a little bit of alcohol and a lot of, uh, you know, a sense of refreshment without having to get uh, drunk fast, and uh, which is why they call beers a social drink. That you know, you can you can chill you can chill out with your hombres, good hombres, good hombres, good hombres. for for a, a relatively long period of time without you know passing out. And so it's a social beer. It's a you know, self, social beer. You know what I'm saying? Which is what we're doing today. We're we're here. How, how long are we here for? Like eight hours? Eight. Something like that. A long time. Eight hours of drinking. 
Bet you were with, with us. I'm already splurring my sleech. All right, well, peeps, uh, until next time, and I don't know, that might be in a few minutes. We'll see. Uh, cheers from Mexico. I don't know what this is, but it's in our Arabic. Yeah, it's imported from Qatar, come from Qatar. Not from sure, Qatar. not sure why, because mine is from Old Mexico. But anyway, cheers, darling. Say bye. Uh, how do you say goodbye in, in Spanish? Buenos dias. <laughs> Good evening. Buenos dias.